Hello and welcome back to our series of videos. Remember, I'm Olivier Nguto from IPRS Kigali. And today we are going just to, to combine what we saw last time. We are going to, to deal with direct control, indirect control, and the use of AND logic on one circuit. So don't miss it. This time I want to explain it here on my PowerPoint. I have the pressure source. Then I have service unit, and I have two pedals such that the PV1 will have to control the single acting cylinder, which is direct control. And PV2 will control a double acting cylinder, but indirectly, which is indirect control through or logic and five port two position DCV. And in the case we press on PV1, the single acting cylinder will have to extend. And it will, after completing the end stroke, by, by reaching the end forward stroke, it will connect or it will activate another valve, which is a roller valve. Then that roller valve will control a double acting cylinder also indirectly. So we mean PV1 will control two cylinder, one directory and another indirectly. And PV2 will only control the double acting cylinder. So let's connect it. Our first pipe goes from service unit to manifold. And from manifold we can have several output. So the first output goes to the first PV1, I mean this is PV1, and the output of PV1, the output for PV1 is going to control the single acting cylinder, which means this is direct control. Like this. Also, when this will have to extend, it will be pressing this roller valve. It's another directional control valve mechanically by roller. So we need also to supply that roller valve. From roller valve. And from the roller valve, we go to OR gates. And from OR gate, the output of OR gate will come here. But before we connect this, let's connect the pedal number two. Pedal number two will move from manifold. This is the manifold. And it goes to pedal number two. And its outlet goes to OR gate. The outlet for this pedal valve goes to OR gate, but on the other side. So we need now to connect this valve to manifold and to the cylinder. So we take another output from manifold. up to this valve, which is the main DCV for the double acting cylinder. And we will move from here, from cylinder to a DCV. Again, from cylinder to a DCV, just like this. So we mean this pressure from the manifold is going to be waiting here the pilot signal. And our pilot signal, remember, it is going to come from the OR gate. So the OR gate, the output for the OR gate is the one which is going to be controlling the main DCV. So what do we have? I'm going to explain. 
the pressure from the service unit, of course, uh, will go to the manifold. And from manifold, we are going to dispatch to several directional control valves. The first one is the first pedal valve. Another valve is the second pedal valve. And another valve is roller valve. And the fourth one is the main valve, which is pneumatically piloted. So now let's control to see what we have. By using this PV, PV1, this is my pedal one. See what we have. When I press it, when I press it, the single acting cylinder goes for extension, which causes the valve to operate. The output for this valve goes to the OR gate. Immediately, it goes to the piloting port. Then it changes the position. So PV1 controls directly the single acting cylinder and indirectly the double acting cylinder. You can see. So PV1 controls directly the single acting cylinder and indirectly the double acting cylinder. Now, by using pedal two, this time we only control the double acting cylinder indirectly. So you can see that you can design as much as possible the circuit that we need. The most important is to understand what you're doing.